so it seems like list videos are all the rage on YouTube nowadays. Top 10 Movies of All Time Top 10 Musicians Who Died at Age 27 Top 10 Facts Wait, how do you rank facts? It's no surprise that people love lists. I mean, why just write an article on the best breakfast cereal when you can write an article on the best 27 breakfast cereals? Buzzfeed wasting your time since 2006. So with the popularity of lists and the top 10 format, it's clear that making list videos equals views, and views equals money, and money equals you being one step closer to buying that pack of gum in the flavour of your choice. That's why in this video I've decided to tell you how you can go about making the very best list slash countdown slash top 10 videos on YouTube. The first step is choosing what to make a list of. Now you might think that the best thing is to choose a genuinely interesting and unique topic that no one else has covered before in order to gain a loyal subscriber base of people looking for high quality content that can only be found on your channel. This is wrong. Doing research from reliable sources, formulating your own opinions and gathering relevant information takes way too long. And let's face it, for any idea you come up with, you better believe that Watch Mojo has already got it covered. Instead, just do what's trending. Is it the end of the year? Great! Top 10 insert thing here of 2016. Of course you just replace 2016 with whatever the current year is. That's bound to bring in the views. What's that? It's not anywhere near the end of the year yet? Well don't let a minor detail like that stop you. Just make a video with the exact same title and add, so far. If you're still stuck for ideas to make lists on, then simply find a list that someone else has already made online and turn it into a video. No one will ever know. Now that we've got the topic down, we need to look at the actual content of the video. Of course nobody's interested in a silent countdown, which is why it's important to do a voiceover commentary which briefly explains why each item deserves its position in the list. If you can, try to sprinkle in a few corny jokes, but really anything will do here. I mean it's not like people are paying attention to this part anyway. Most will probably skip to the end of the video, see that their favourite thing is not number one, and leave a dislike as well as a rather odd misspelling of the word kiss in the comments. And this is exactly why we need to take steps to ensure that our countdown is as inoffensive as possible, because we all know what happens when you give an opinion that differs to that of the viewer. Now there are three different ways to make sure that nobody watching your video feels like their favourite thing got cheated out of the top spot on your list. The first way is to use the almighty phrase, in no particular order. This makes it clear to the viewers from the get-go that the position of any item in the list is purely coincidental, and why not go one further by jumbling up the actual order of the numbers in the list. For example, Top 10 Days of the Week, in no particular order. Number 1, Thursday. Number 7, Saturday. The viewer might just get so confused that they click the like button by accident. The second way is a method I like to call the participation medal, and that is where you make every item on the list number one. For example, top 10 colors of the rainbow. Number one, yellow. Number one, indigo. Number one. The third method is pretty simple. You just remove the word top. This way no one will feel like their favorite thing should have been in first place, because there is no first place. For example, 10 times a US president was elected. Number 1, 1968. Number 2, 1992. And so on and so forth. With this method in particular, by simply adding the three words you didn't know to the title of the video, you can double, no, triple your views. 7 facts about paper that you didn't know. 11 celebrities you didn't know existed. The possibilities are endless. Any one of these three methods is bound to work, but unfortunately that's not enough to put certain viewers at ease. You'll almost always find at least one person who comments about how upset they are that their favourite thing didn't make it on the list. An upset viewer leads to an upset like to dislike ratio and we can't have that now can we? But it's not like we can just put everything on the list, right? Top 721 Pokemon of all time. That's right, the days of honourable mentions are over. Just include everything. Not only does it mean that nobody watching your video will feel left out, but the length of the video will be much longer too. Ah, I can almost smell the revenue already. Getting tired of counting down in regular old numbers? Try counting down in colours, gemstones and elements of the periodic table. Hey, if Pokemon can do it, why can't you? 
And there you have it. If you follow all of these tips, then your video should end up looking a little something like this. Top 37 letters of the alphabet of all time. So far, in no particular order. 1. F. Yeah, F's, uh, F's a pretty cool letter. It's comfortable to write, it's cool to see. Except when you get it back in your exam paper, am I right? E. T. I like T. You know why? Because while most other letters just make themselves smaller to become lowercase, T was like, nah, I'm gonna be different. You know how you make a capital T lowercase? You just take this and you move it down here. I know. Incredible. 14. J. Don't get me wrong, J is lovely, but it may just be the most unoriginal letter of all time. Do you know how the lowercase j came into existence? It looked to the left, saw lowercase i, and was like, yo, I gotta get me some of that, but let me just grow a dumbass tail so that no one will ever know. Well, I know, J. I know. Omega. Z. Z is a lovely letter, just an absolute pleasure to write. Three quick strokes, it's so easy. So can somebody please explain to me why the cursive Z looks like this? I mean, w w what is that? Pretty compelling video, am I right? And I guarantee that if you follow all of these tips, then you'll be able to make videos of your own just like it, and be well on your way to being the number one top 10 channel on YouTube. But then again, everyone's number one, right? <laughs> It also helps to ask your subscribers at the end to comment about what they thought should have been on the list. Not because you actually care about what they have to say, but just to keep them on your channel for longer. By the way, what tips have I missed out that you think I should have included in this video? Be sure to leave them in the comments below, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oi, 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 oi.